Okay. What's happening? I got one for you. If you dare, it's like this. I'm looking at this. It's like a, I, I guess it's a cultural manipulation. Um, I can't think of anything better than that right now. But like, you know, a little unified thing. Like, like if you be hearing me at this part, I, I have a couple little gripes or whatever. Yeah, it ain't really no big deal. But like when I get off the bike and I walk and push the bike, which I've done all the time, you know. However, when you're not going that far, you really don't have that much to worry about. And plenty of times I wasn't riding that far at all. Or maybe this was my timing. I don't know. But I get this thing with people like, you all right, you all right, you all right. I could almost, I could almost see it when I'm far. But I just started from the beginning of there. Unless from the beginning of there was some end for me. And I'm really started from here. But you know, I, it's it's like manipulating you to never push the bike because, or it's it's at least showing that I only have one way of looking at things. I this person that's asking me, "Are you all right? Are you all right? Are you all right?" Those people, it definitely like everybody, but those people can only look at that. Hey, I'm psychoanalyzing everybody. Whatever. But those people evidently can't look at it any other way. You get on bike, you ride bike. If you off bike, something's wrong. Ain't nothing, I don't think of anything else. That's all I'm coming up with. You know, and that is not going to be the same thing for you. It's going to come across as something else, obviously, evidently, probably. But if you could relate it to whatever it is that you can relate it to, you know, it is what it is. The goal is just to connect the dots. Maybe you can understand, you know, how we'll find ourselves being manipulated in so many ways by people we don't even know. You're just gonna hop on a bike and ride the bike because you don't want to hear that subconsciously. You're just going to do that. And I have a reason for getting off the bike. But that will override that. For not, and I'm not even realizing what I'm doing. That I'm giving them, you know, giving in to their thing. I can only get off the bike if something's wrong. I can't walk. I can never walk. Not with a bike. Either you're walking or you're riding. Pick. If you're walking, leave the bike somewhere else. Don't have it with you. Hey, and um, well, we do that all the time. We have no choice. Don't, only God can judge me. Bullshit. You got to judge and discern different peoples and different people's intents. And when you're doing the work, which I'm doing the work, I can't help but notice this ridiculous shit. Because if the shoe was on the other foot, would I do that? If I was doing that, why am I doing that? What exactly am I doing? Because especially if I ain't got no tools or nothing, you know. Now she had a little pack. She probably had some kind of little universal pliers or some shit. But behind that, that's it. Because she even stopped to kind of entertain me for a minute. Oh, wait. Like, wait. Like I was saying before, like you such a hurry. You ask me, do I need help? But you gone. So, and it was her, and then there was another lady behind her. The other lady behind her kind of hear more of what I was saying to her. And um, I guess she get it. Leave, look, leave that nigga alone. You know, two white ladies. That nigga say, leave him alone. <laughs> she gonna interpret it, you know. But she have no idea that people do that to me all the time, that I'm out here all the time. I ain't never seen her. Today said she a sad day. Uh, weekend warrior lady must be, and it just happened to be my time to catch up with her. And probably not that many weekends. Who knows? You know. 
you know, there's no law or no rule that says certain things you can't do. And there shouldn't be no law or no rule. It's ridiculous. It's sad that, um, you know, or like I said, people be in the guise of being helpful. I, you know, some people might, it, it could be a lot of things. Yeah, you know, I, I realize that sometimes people simply trying to flirt with you or something. They want you to talk to them. Sometimes maybe they're lonely. They want you to talk to them. But I just, and then, you know, like I said, you moving so fast, or they move, they the one moving fast. You can't, I don't look nothing like I'm in distress. I'm happy. I'm going about my business. I'm pushing my bike. I'm just like, do, 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 you know, do, 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 whatever. You know what I mean? Not really, but I'm fucking happy. I don't look distressed. I don't look like, fuck. I can't believe this. Man, this look you have on your face when some shit wrong. In my mind, anyway, you know. Now, I, oh, granted, I mean, something could be wrong. And I could still be not stressed out about it. And still, all right, in a, in a happy, you know, not looking like nothing wrong. But fuck, ain't nothing wrong. Because if it's wrong... It is what it is, bitch. I'm walking to my car and I'm going to be all right. You want to act like you can help and then when you find out what I need, you can be like, oh, I can't help you. I ain't got that. Sorry. I thought you just needed a screw for your reflector. If you need a reflector or a reflector screw, I got you. You know, and then not necessarily that person but like i said a lot of them hey come on a lot of them be like they about to run over you they don't give a fuck about nothing they they act like they actually uh not even training for a race like they actually in a race in this park it's just the park the park where families be at mostly you don't see families all the time but you do in a way, yes. In a way, no. Depends on the day. Depends on the time. Families do be out here. People be out here with their children. And nobody shouldn't have to get run over. Worry about getting run over by no biker or no pack of bikes. Because they act like they in, a, um, you know, competing against, uh, what is face? Lance Armstrong or somebody. Yeah, that's my opinion on that. Um, on that manipulation from afar people you don't know just the influence uh the job culture the culture at a place you know like this is how they do it we fucked up we got this messed up way of doing things and everybody in agreement that this is how we do it we give people a hard time i'm customer service but i'm not here to serve you you know i don't give a damn shit i get smart with people i send people I want, you know, this is suicide hotline. I have motherfuckers killing themselves. You know, these people is crazy, man, in this world. Some shit is ridiculous. But I don't be talking to these people now enough. I guess she's seen like a nice enough lady. And um, I don't get, you know, I don't, who knows what she think. If she really cares, she would have put on the, you know, like, look. <laughs> You can't have it both ways. Put on the brakes right now, right here, and stop and look me in my face, ask me if I need help. Don't be paddling past me talking about, do you need help? You all right? Okay. <laughs> this, I guess, is uh, kind of like how, when people say, how you doing? And we all normally just say, all right, okay. Everything good. It's all good. Something like that, you know. It's very rarely, if ever, that we're going to say if, you know, we got problems going on. Well, fucker, ask me, man. When I've been stressed out, you know, to that certain point, maybe all of us. I'll tell man, I'm stressed the fuck out. All right, I'll catch you later. You know, fucker really don't want to know. Like them too us too because just say hello you know 
good morning, good evening, and good night. And that's perfectly acceptable as speaking, whatever time of the day is. Don't ask nobody about how they feeling or how they doing if you really don't care about how they doing. You don't have to say anything else but greet them. Hello. You say hello uh, three times. Without the, uh, hi, how you doing? Without the, without any time stamp or anything on it, you know? I'm just saying. Speaking of the cult of, we, it's the culture of pretending that we're concerned when we don't give a fuck about you. Hmm, I'm getting somewhere, ain't I? Digging deep. I'm getting somewhere. So that's all that is. That's how you doing. Because I see you walking, pushing your bike. I'm going to ask you uh, extra special how you doing, but I really don't give a fuck. All right, all righty, cutting it off. Peace out, y'all.